Hi. Hello. <coughs> hope you <coughs> people are <coughs> doing great. Uh, hope you people are <coughs> enjoying my lessons. Uh, lessons about geography, <coughs> the development of geography, and the <coughs> development of <coughs> evolution and development and evolution of uh, geographical thought. <coughs> and uh, we have gone through nearly five videos, and it is the sixth video. We have completed uh, the contribution of Greek people, <coughs> that uh, the oldest development. Then we have completed completed the concept of concept and the theory from the Roman, and now we started um, that uh, Arab. And uh, <coughs> welcome to my lesson. <coughs> good morning. Uh, good day. <coughs> um, my dear students so we are explaining about the uh, explaining about different concepts in different times different concepts in geography different concepts in uh, what cartography right and uh, the way of explaining <coughs> the concept see what was it what was the shape of the earth the shape of the earth is spherical geoid uh, shape of the earth is geoid it is always from the formation to till date it is geoid but uh, the scholars their concepts we are just explaining different things we are going through different concept uh, that is that is uh, that is time to time it is changing that's why we are ha we have used the term evolution evolution of the concept evolution of the concept of geography fine uh, different contribution from different people so uh, we have learned about the contribution of Greece, greek people and roman people so gracio roman contribution greek roman contribution fine mm, different writings uh, different authors, different scholars, uh, different explanation, <clears throat> translation, traveling, exploration, different things. <clears throat> and uh, yes, uh, what that uh, geography people, we people are trying to explain about the <clears throat> pattern, right? different geographical pattern, different geographical process, and different geographical behavior. That's time to time. It is change. It is changing. Uh, we are we are just uh, learning different things, right? Uh, for uh, for a what? So for a better career and better future in geography. So uh, you people are getting my lessons. A uh, few people are regularly watching the lessons and uh, regularly attending the assessment. A uh, few people are not responding uh, for this assessment. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what they are uh, thinking about. Uh, see, I will give you a clear message. Watch the videos regularly. Attend the uh, assessment regularly. Fine. It is a regular course. So <coughs> in that uh, today, <coughs> It's a very small video, just an introduction. Fine. So you know that Arab, uh, that Arabian Peninsula. You can see that uh, map shows the Arabian Peninsula. <clears throat> Fine. And uh, you know that geography was systematically studied by the ancient Greeks, who also developed a philosophy of geography. Tales, Herodotus, Erasmus, Aristotle, Strabo, and Ptolemy made major contributions to geography. Strabo from uh, Strabo, the man, contributed from Rome. Uh, Ptolemy, he's also from Rome. Tales, Herodotus, Erasmus, fine. Erasmus, Herodotus, Herodotus, father of history. So different concepts. We have already learned, <clears throat> fine. We learned about uh, different concepts. Uh, then, <clears throat> uh, yes, <laughs> Greek geographic learning was maintained and enhanced by the Arabs during the Middle Ages. Fine. Uh, what the Greek people, Greek scholars uh, like this 
tales, Herodotus, Erasmus, and his Aristotle's tribal and Ptolemy. Uh, what they had did in earlier time, uh, these Arab people from the uh, Persia, or in that uh, from that people, that scholars, they just uh, what enlarged the scholarship. The Arab built up on the original base provided by the geographers from ancient Greece. Yes, we have learned about Greece, whose work had been translated into Arabic. Thus, uh, while Europe had entered to the Dark Age, so I will explain what you mean by Dark Age. Maybe you know that what you mean by Dark Age. Uh, <clears throat> dark Age marred by the decline of scientific learning. The Arabs revised geography. <clears throat> so, what do you mean? Dark age. So, uh, you know that, see, the Arab started to mm -hmm. learn geography and explain different concepts at the time of dark age. So, what do you mean by dark age? The dark age is a historical <clears throat> uh, periodization, uh, traditionally refining to the Middle Ages. Um, that is 5th and 15th century. Between 5th and 15th century. That asserts that the demographic, culture, demographic, cultural and economic uh, deterioration occurred in Western Europe following the decline of the Roman Empire. What caused the Dark Ages? The causes of Dark Ages was the rejection of reason barbarian destroying st uh, stored knowledge and the church out will out win out win reason as the means to knowledge to be replaced by a revelation which they have the monopoly on so uh, let me explain what you by dark age uh, it is the, you can see that uh, <coughs> time at that time <coughs> See, we have learned that Aristotle concept, that uh, that shape of the earth, and it's something like a disk. Uh, that different people explain in uh, in their own manner, and uh, you know that it is it is not exactly what we have seen in today's pictures. So, at that at the time of this uh, particular dark age, the church was the Means at that time, the church is the ruler. The concept, theory, science, philosophy, that all explained by the church. Fine. And the church start to, uh, what? To destroy, to start to destroy the, uh, that what we have learned, that old knowledge, knowledge base. And the church start to teach certain what certain unnecessary, unscientific, uh, illogical concepts. That means the center of the earth is Jerusalem. Uh, something uh, Christianity and uh, that that Christianity that that kinds of concept. Right. Uh, that uh, the earth is the center of the universe. That kinds of that old concept means. Uh, so you know that it is wrong, but uh, church is something imposing this kinds of concept, and this destroyed the development of sites. There's kind of stagnation for a long period. Uh, the development is start to reduce in the field of science, geography, what what kinds of whatever it is in all the field. So that kinds of stagnation in the science, that period that is known as dark age. No development in the case of uh, not only uh, sites, uh, in the case of demographic uh, concepts, in case of cultural concept, in case of economics, in case of uh, the development of economy. So it is a, uh, it is kind of, it's kind of a period, uh, some kind of uh, imposing certain uh, laws from the church. Uh, you may know that that uh, one scientist. He proposed the concept that the uh, sun is the center of the solar system and the earth is spinning uh, around the sun. Uh, 
so the church you know uh, when this kind of concept suggested the church just kill that person so you find out who is that person right uh, he is known as the father of modern science uh, so that kinds of things was happened fine right? so that is from western europe okay that is all over so uh, this is the most important concept uh, in that uh, in that middle ages so at that time <clears throat> the arab scholarship start to flourish so uh, muslim scholars invented and refined a number of scientific instruments in mathematical geography and cartography uh, this included the astrolab quadrant gnomon celestial sphere uh sundial and compass this kinds of equipments so that uh, see that means they refined see you know that astrolab that is uh, developed by strabo quadrant that is uh, clearly from uh, arab <coughs> then gnomon that is an axiomatic celestial sphere uh, sundial and compass this all are developed by the arab scholarship <coughs> then a uh, bit uh, little bit uh, but Uh, some what small points we are near to finish and finish this video lesson who is the father of arab geography one of the most famous cartographers to publish early maps of the world was arab muslim geographer travel and scholar al idrisi he is known as the father of <coughs> arab geography al idrisi and we will explain uh, more about the scholars and uh, one is uh, al masudi he is known as the herodotus of arab Uh, he wrote uh, extensively about uh, that history and geography I, I, we will explain more details about uh, this scholar than his uh, work that is known as miraj ul and then al masudi was an arab traveler who traveled to india around the 18th so <clears throat> dear friends it's a small video uh that is all about today's video a very small video that is an introduction you have to learn a few more scholars about that uh, that is a scholarship from the arabian geography i will explain uh, one by one so that is uh, all about today's video you can ask your doubts fine you can ask your oh, all kinds of doubt and i will try to clear your doubts so thank you thanks for watching my video lesson thank you thanks a lot have a good day and let me add one more thing <laughs> regularly watch the video lessons try to finish the assessment regularly i am getting the assessment nearly 35 or 34 or 33 sometimes i don't know what remaining that uh, uh, that few students nearly 10 students you should come and attend the lessons regularly that is very important fine right? it's a regular course remember we people are learning about geographical process geographical pattern and geographical behavior so once more thank you thank you for watching <coughs> thank you for watching my videos and a good day right thank you thanks a lot